something fun about me right now is I'm hating living. So let's play this instead. Also, I'm gonna turn it up even more after looking over today's video. Let's just bring that all the way up. What will London have to say to me? Could be anything, really. Screen is dusty. Oh my god. <laughs> I have black eyes. So everything is cool out here, right? Everything's going great. I think I should focus on finishing quests so I can get my mesmerize up so I can kill Marize more oh Edgar let me search your room for collectibles first oh Edgar evening Edgar could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. It's not this about my eyes, is it? Flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I never saw symptoms like this when I was in France. Not at all. I see. Do you have anything I'm more to go on? You. This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior more than simple agitation once docile people become violent you mean like rabies is there a chance we could create a vaccine jonathan like pasteur by the stove that would be smashing there's a lot we're not seeing here but it is spreading and quickly if we don't act the whole city could be lost but jonathan we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us a weapon of choice what on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. <laughs> Jonathan is so tall. And why not? What did Stoker say about the children of the night? Well, using my blood, I could create a whole army of vampires. Surely you're joking. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. The eye was in the tomb. To Mary's funeral. Oh, why is that door closed? Is that always closed? Stuck on a wall. Any level twos I may have missed? Oh yeah. The mother would have gone missing.
Interesting. <coughs> I forgot I murdered or missing a hundred people. I never this thought morning. I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary. I can't forgive oh, myself. There's a mother. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Murderers and thieves, a lot of them. This is no time to... Good evening, Mrs. Goswin. How are you feeling? Spare me your false compassion. It won't change all the bad publicity I intend to shine upon this toxic place. I knew this place was bad from the start. Why hide his suicidal tendencies? Mortimer was already so fragile. To be arrested for a suicide attempt would have killed him. But he died anyway. Violently murdered. Yes. My poor boy escaped tragedy only to face an even worse fate. What do you mean by a toxic place? I hold you responsible, sir. You and everyone else in this shameful hospital. I was a fool to bring my Mortimer here. A fool. A fool? What do you mean by that? He tried to kill himself. I had him hospitalized in this secluded place to avoid a legal inquiry, and now he's been murdered. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswin. <sighs> You'll be murdered in time, too. It happens to the best of us. Oh, I can't jump that. I guess I'll go across the pond then. Hostile. Where is it? Oh. Who's that? Oh. An unknown event happened. Hippa, what? She had that note saying she was going to join them, but I didn't expect that she would join them. That's cool. Didn't actually have anything to say about anything, though, did you, Jonathan? Interesting. Well... I didn't get to kill her. Uh, that's Whitechapel. The hospital. Hippa dead. I bet if I had waited until I had. Uh. Uh. A way higher mesmerized level then I probably would have been able to eat all these people without them disappearing and doing whatever did I already unlock this one it would appear maybe gonna take me to a hideout.
teach you to have a neck. Frickin' thugs. Thuggin' outside of the thug My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. Bloodborne screeching sounds like it's a good thing that's happening. Y'all bloodborne in there? Fast. Black Wolf Oberg. Huh. You thought I didn't see those shillings. All right. Let's go attend a stupid old funeral. For a weirdo who hugged a body and crawled out of a pit. Jesus. Holy symbols and oracalcum. If you ever face a vampire, never forget that they fear holy symbols. As long as you have the faith that Cross a Star David and Olive Branch Ethan can prove useful to repel these creatures from the pit, but you will not harm them for good. If you really want to hurt them, only one solution exists. Forget about wooden stakes or silver bullets and find yourself the strongest weapon against vampires, Oracalcum. Do you think it's a coincidence that Oracalcum was common in Atlantis? According to the legend and ancient writings, Atlantis was infested with vampires, and the place is now known as Santorini Island. I'll personally pay 10,000 pounds to the man who could provide me some real oracalcum. Now that's some fun mythology I can get behind. Near lie the remains of Benjamin Palmer. That's a weird way to write that. Clay Cox, it's the people I've murdered. They've come to haunt me with flashing graves. Oh. Nithercott. Wait, Nithercott. His middle name was Gelatin? He die off. She died off screen too? What the hell? I'm missing out on so many meals. Clayton Darby and Christina. Everybody in that district just dropped dead overnight? Just because I killed What's Her Face? Nurse Crane? That one I did kill. I'll take full responsibility for that one. Milton Hooks, yep, that was me, my handiwork. My toothy work. Heart refitic, yep, killed that guy. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to Mortimer. attend the sermon. Totally killed that guy. Very old looking, uh... Tombstones for having just died last night. Also, they buried them fast. Avery, I leave you to care for my mother. 
I'm in no state. They're all T posing over there. Look at them. T posing at a funeral. Still T posing. <laughs> That's funny. I am the resurrection and the life. No, you're not. You're some guy. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. Why is there so much debris? The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the <coughs> epidemic, madam. <laughs> Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> yes, madam. That hip wiggle. Oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do. But accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. A vampire crying over the death of a loved one. It sounds like a bad joke. No, Jonathan. She was your sister. And the pain of her death. I hate the way they the just stare at the player's camera instead of Jonathan. Stab at you for years. It's so important weird. to cry for those you love. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Lest ye be dealt with. I'm <clears throat> learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness. If you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there Those and eyes. make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think.
Y'all got any level twos out here? That's a lot of blood. we here I don't want that I don't want that I do want this what's down here that's nothing stuck on stairs go this way found up bears okay bear located St. Mary's Church. A church is that a door? Oh, I thought that was a shortcut door. And off to church he goes. Church. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. You're tall. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Enjoy your evening. Everybody here died because the scowls took over. Got it. Not just because Nurse Crane was no longer around. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. <laughs> May I help you, Joseph? Something. You seem somewhat perturbed. <coughs> I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. Larrabee. I've no need for a kind ear, only a moment of peace in God's house. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. Hmm, this is a private matter or this is a private concern? Hmm. I've made myself perfectly clear this is a private matter. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Who she was is not your concern. 
You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It was an accident. A terrible, terrible accident. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? that I'm gonna see her in hell. I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Yeah, that was a waste of time. But if it raises my mesmerize. <clears throat> <laughs> it's just so satisfying to thump him to death. You're still here? Oh, hey. What's up, horn boy? Fear be God. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our child. You selected me, chose me, as shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly, an ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Like it would be hard to kill a snake with spurs. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You'll set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, 
McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. This hospital's going down in flames and you By paid somebody to clean this carpet? very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. <clears throat> Are you worried about the situation or your reputation? Now is not the time to think of oneself. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. That one was not me. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. You want to restore peace in the hospital again? Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then. It's Tell not up to Sean you. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Well, they are not far wrong. The hospital is almost crawling with vampires. McCullum is a Part fanatic. Two of them. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. If you don't mind, I have a... I'd be delighted. I just recently met the strangest creature in Whitechapel. He was immense. He mocked me and accused me of hypocrisy. Perhaps it was a skull. London's streets are overflowing with them these days. It was a vampire, all right. But what kind, I'm not sure. He was large and very fast. If you find anything more about this creature, the Brotherhood would greatly appreciate any information you could spare. I recently tried to enter a church. It has been a very unpleasant experience. The Brotherhood's <coughs> research on the matter of faith and vampirism has proved somewhat insubstantial, to say the least. Thank you, Edgar. Please raise my mess. Sean Hampton I lives and breathes for change. the well being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. That is a lot of blood. Well, I tried to pick that up and it didn't take. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Tried to warn you.
What's around the river bend? Is you open a bowl? Oh, you is. What's in here? Perhaps collectible shillings? Hello, Frank! How are you, my old friend? Say hello to your wife for me. Oh, you thought I didn't notice those shillings. Definitely did, though. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you the remember. The wet boot boys. Damn it. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. A sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. Y you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Until we eat again. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. Killed her so husband. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Damn it. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money. You got nothing. Get out of my face. For looking away when they mock my color, I hate myself for crying like a girl when they insult me. I hate myself for sweating like a boy when they go gone. I hate myself. This is a terrible poem. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You'd better ah, be off if you're hunting. Dinner. Or if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth? Claws? Murders by night? Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. Damn it, you're the one I didn't want to talk to. Welcome back. Goodbye. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? Professor and what do you define Lionheart? as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <sighs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're a man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Damn it. Goodbye. I don't want to talk to you. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. 
I'm here to mesmerize. I think I'm losing my mind. Come with me. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. I'll be hard to forget. <laughs> My fingers in your nose. <laughs> Let's go do it in front of the vampire hunter. Bumble. Rumble. Everybody carries a small key. Well, if it isn't another bald guy. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being a polite. Shitty attitude. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions. Or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne. If you Seymour must know. Butts. Get out Goodbye, of Goodbye, Mr. Face. Fishburne. I can't eat you. I don't want you. Also, I'm going the wrong direction. Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No. It's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. <clears throat> You're a sir, are you? Sir Lee Deb. Got him. You shall be the first in a long line of being eaten this minute. Pay me no mind. Liver bacon. Rumble. I'm getting a lot of good killing done today. So what they said about me was true. I really was Rufus the Curse. Probably. Destined to suffer until I die. Stella. Oh, I have to talk to people about freaking. Good evening, Mr. Doc. Looking for I'm looking for Bowler. Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgman? The sad saint. He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it. Sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. Goodbye. Look at these bugs. Ow. They look way weirder from farther away. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank, Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. 
Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Until we eat again. I used that one this morning, so but it's still good. Quiet. We're gonna run, run, run till the dad takes a tea bird away. Whoa, that's water. Oh, big jump. Seems like the guard of the green one is on short shoulders. Jimmy the spark. Common pistol parabellum. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Or a regular beast. This door doesn't open for vampires. right into that. <clears throat> oh, shiny boy. My teeths, my teeths are calling. I think what I'm gonna do is just speed run the whole game <laughs> and then go back before the end and try and find all the collectibles off stream. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan I remember Reed. your face. Can I a, a fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? <sighs> Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Now, you're Lottie Corpston. This is what you get for wearing a hat at night. Somebody compile all these new laws. Motored merchant. Poor sister, what will happen to her now that I'm gone? Giselle, I'm so sorry. Everybody's last words are that they're sorry.
Good evening, miss. You're never gonna I'm believe Dr. this, but there's been a new rule about wearing hats attention. outside at night. Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strife when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. You can say that again. But I'm not an enemy of the at-night hat-wearing law. In fact, I'm a staunch upholder. Over to your sister's corpse. Your sister's corpse is no longer there. <clears throat> waste of life. I only managed to be hated by all the people I loved. Now you're sleeping one head under. Who else you got around here, Shani? Bomb exploded when they exploded by bombs. Chilling. Sean could be anywhere. <clears throat> this is totally going along with my uh, come back and loot everything later rule that I just came up with. Damn it. A wide, a long face, Doctor. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then... Return. Well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Oh, you get to stay around, but your sister did. Mm -hmm. 
Six citizens can be healed, but will they be healed? Bom, bom, ba, da, bom, 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 That doesn't work. You barely even tried. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. If I explore these sewers and I find out there's sewage in them, if I even suspect there might be sewage in them, I'm gonna be upset. Maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. Hit me three times in a row. Whence you vanished, I'll slaughter these skulls while singing your name. Ghost moves. Turn to your apothecary and needles. Uh. 
You're the one who's cursed. The hubbublicist. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Whoa, what is this effect going on here? That shouldn't be doing that. That's an odd one for sure. I said click. Why are there mine carts in the sewer? Isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. Did they only have like four voice actors for this game? <laughs> this is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Old Bridget? Why do they call you Old So you're Bridget. the sewer dog I've been told about. But who are you really? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn echo. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. Ask and I will afford you my attention. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Look at that guy twitching in the background at two frames a second. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the sewer skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. Eternal gratitude for your protection, We're Master. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? <laughs> Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Not 
what I wanted to do. Oh, come on, mace. Is that chunkier than my cudgel? a huge jump though. Shillings. Always in groups of five. That's a barrel. Anyway, now that I've stolen all your stuff, you've got elephantitis. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Why are you so close? <laughs> mm, yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone. Try and remember. I will not lie. I want it blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it brought me here instead but the shadows heard my prayers the shadows killed that bastard shadows tell me what you saw the shadows they heard me and answered something in the deep darkness quick deadly it asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? <laughs> it spoke only to me. And now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. <laughs> And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It... it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest.
you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? The vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank Follow you, old your Bridget. Nose. I hope we'll meet again. Arrows. Arrows. You. Mask boy. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine no, zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Again. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Oh, there's some arrows. I've lost the arrow. door in here? No, you liar. <laughs> There's an arrow. There's the same arrow from before. Oh, that's a horrible it's telling you to go that way, but it really means turn around. You'll all pay for that. Me eyeball. Hideouts are often located in isolated placas.
It's locked. Damn. I just... How do I keep getting bullets? Welcome back, Dr. Reed. <clears throat> Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I haven't the luxury of being able to satisfy my hunger on staunch blood and lifeless flesh. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Eat. Indeed. I really would like to believe your fairy tale. The good ghoul feeding upon the flesh of the dead. But I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May his soul rest in peace. A night will come when you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely, a friend, will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! no! Ah! I didn't... Priest, have a little priest. Is it really good, sir? If it's too good, at least. Then again, they don't come with sins of the flesh, so it's pretty fresh. Awful lot of fat, only where it's set. Haven't you got poet or something like that? Now you see the trouble with poet is how do you know it's deceased? Stick to priest. Oh. 
A true rather financier, peak of his career. That looks pretty rank, well he drank, it's a bank of sheer. Less rough than he sold, wasn't quite so old. So, no, I don't want that. I want. Wait, why is Dog Martin here? I have a memorized level of three now. You're dead. I haven't met you. Or you. Or you. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Can I go back down and eat that guy? Uh, no, that goes back out there. Go, go through the door. Oh, terrified young man hiding in the sewers. No need to fret. Now, um, like, even if I'm not allowed to eat them, it does say I'm, like, allowed to target them. Does that mean I can, like, just punch them in the back of the head? Sir, you have no idea what could happen to you if you stay here. For fuck's sake! Do I have to punch you in the face to make- It's my duty to insist. I'm safe here. Don't you get it? I see. You think safe I'm stupid? Here. The night asylum? You're not safe at all. You're locked in here with me. If I had stood by your side, we both could have changed things for good round here. Rodney Scythe. Now it says Harriet's a three. But because she's no a big part Dr. Yeah, Reed. She has a big role to play later, so I can't kill her. Now how the f fudge do I get out of here? That looks pretty frank, but he drank it's a bank of sheer. Last one really sold, wasn't quite so old. Have you any beetle next week? So I'm told. Beetle isn't bad till you smell it and notice how well it's been greased. Stick to priest. Whom else do I get to eat? Person who claims to be watching the stream right now. According to Twitch. That's the wrong button that I hit there. Wait a minute. Oh, 
I knew it. Yeah. Another corpse here? thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He How was thrown from the roof level like a vulgar down log. Down. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck, Damn it, lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Very close. Later. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Any more Corpus Christi's around here? Oh, I guess I should look at this. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. The hunt. I almost said something I shouldn't have said, and therefore I didn't, so it doesn't have to be said. Blinking light is blinking. So this is the Nodic, also known as the North Dock. No. Uh, I already killed that guy. What I really want is... Un untrack, because he's dead. Pembroke, Whitechapel, Unknown, The Docks. Oh wait, no, this is what I want. Um, you guys are all blank. Yes, you're dead. Don't know you guys yet. Is The Docks considered the North Docks as well? I'm gonna guess yes. Complete wrong way. He's running with the bots spamming spammy spam in the spam holder why can't I get a real human to watch there's one of them watch yourselves die burning Go!
29 Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? Ferris Tart There's Street. been a fight here. All these flashing lights. Does it keep disappearing? Are you dead? Cross the legs, boys! Ah, 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 shit. You paid for that! Ah. 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 Oh, I'm supposed to be investigating. Worse. You're being baited by me. You nasty Filthy murdering bastard! We have to stop it! Only a golden watch in her pocket. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. <laughs> Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Why'd you take the flower? I see you. Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. I'm gonna talk to Jonathan. a lady. That what was that? Pretty now and stuff. I won't let you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. Stonebridge Cemetery. They've all been butchered. Damn it, I always go this way and it's always the wrong way. <laughs> I can still sense a presence. Oh, can I actually blink? I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> Rugby, please. Come to me. I'm trying. This place is a maze. Have you done? Vicar Larrabee, what happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! 
Son of perdition. Vicar, Vicar. Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, <laughs> say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Look at my Shut eyes. Up. <laughs> it's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary, I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Mm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate, but I will have my answers. Ugh. There are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain and lies and treachery. Mary, wait! Time to go, Mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 <laughs> Interesting. This is what I do to those I cherish. Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally, we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear? Your heart still bleeds with emotion. My dead heart has dried. <laughs> you are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad? I was beginning to wonder. I've been hearing voices, one in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my head. I cannot let you kill again, Mary. <laughs> time to die, brother. And this time for good. Abomination. <laughs> Wait, can I eat the vicar? Oh, 
was there a rat on the ground? Yeah. And <laughs> kill him. Revel in your true nature. Kin. I'll do to you what you did to Dorothy Crane. This is actually a pretty hard Kiss fight on the other difficulties, but obviously that's the story is not hard. You left me to I'll show you the same kindness you showed Sean Hampton. Come to me, Jonathan. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the harbinger bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. So it's interesting that the mom died there, because I'm pretty sure in the one, my first playthrough where I didn't kill anybody, she doesn't get killed, because you can visit her in her home and she's like an insane person. So that's cool that killing people actually can change the story a little. Why don't you take smaller steps, Jonathan? A few nights later... Everybody I was gonna eat is gonna run away now. the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Dr. Reed, I hope this letter will find you quickly 
for I need to speak with you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in great danger. The Guard of Prewin has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they have been actively searching, killing any Akon they can locate. Lord Redgrave, chairman of the Ascalon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet with you immediately. Please come to my mansion at night, any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this with this letter. You will find an official pass that will allow you to go through any barricade or quarantine checkpoint throughout the city. Thank you, Lady Ashbury. Now. Not that. Nope. Zero percent. So one guy's missing, and that's all that remains. The West End is the only place left. Once I get it to hostile, that's one of the final achievements I need. And then it's just hunting down all the weapons and lore and stuff. Dr. Corker and Tippett. You know what? Let's go talk to Ashberry. The sooner I can get my no time for self pity. It is the last thing our patients need. <laughs> the sooner I can raise my level, my mesmerize. The sooner I can eat more people. And it seems most people are level four. shadows and never come back but the shadows are our home and wherever you stand my son i stand beside you i had to kill mary i have known your pain child do not succumb to me silence i dismiss you now the land calls for a champion all and everyone needs you Silence. So I just looked it up. I'm on chapter four. There's only six chapters. I'm tired of all these puppet shows. So this game is going by incredibly fast <laughs> as an evil playthrough. <laughs> or you don't give a shit about talking to anybody. <laughs> Strong one. They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment.
So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Can you really call it living if you're undeading? Hmm. It's more like this is where she resides. My arm hurts a lot and it's all my fault. I'm sorry, arm. Has a bright ass door. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes, death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? My sister, Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. But you already said that biting somebody doesn't turn them into a vampire. They have to drink your blood. And all we did was kill Mary and somehow that turned her into a vampire. But all the other people we killed haven't been turned into vampires. I felt this <clears throat> radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. That's I it? Just 50 years ago? You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now... Mm. Please um, follow me, Jonathan. Oh. 
the time. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective Why am I so with one's wet? furnishings. To I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, Elizabeth with why S? truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the Guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling. Why am I so covered, covered in jelly? <clears throat> Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. That doorknob is not in the center of the door. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. You've got ribs. They're we may be deceptive by nature. But this heart of mine has always told the truth. Now your clothes are shiny. Elizabeth. Such a forward young man. Go, my friend. With clothes made of jelly. But come back to me soon. Eric is playing Valheim.
let's finish the night off by eating all the threes I can find. A shadow and a veil, a battle with a whale, I need a holiday light. No wait, that's two different songs. <laughs> oh no, two different songs, part of the same song. Yeah, see? She used to be alive in my other game. <clears throat> if I can find Joseph, I think I can eat him. If I can find her, I can eat her. And everybody here is dead. <laughs> So, it would appear there are no threes that I can find to eat. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. It's locked. I tried everything I could. I thought she said she gave me a key that would let me go through any of these. Should have stayed down. That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. A lot of those platforms don't really lead anywhere. Easy go. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Everybody who's normally out here is not out here. Where's the hideout? I have missed it. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, oh, Avery. Mulan. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said... Her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. 
Unfortunately, I can't fire you yet. Thank you, Avery. We'll talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. It's a very red fire. Alright, I guess I'll go to sleep then. To Ascalon Club tomorrow. Meet with the folks in the West End. Eat who can be eaten. Luckily, I had a workbench in my room. Damn. Does a huge amount of damage off the bat. So why would I go to sleep here when there are gigantic windows open to the sunlight? So, the only thing I notice that needs to be... Upgraded. Is how much of this you get back. Sucking up all the level of juice. Very squishy noise. Maximum stamina. damage. Right ho. Oh, it doesn't give me an update. That's interesting. Why didn't it give me an update? Very weird. Well, thanks for watching tonight. I hit the wrong button. But so did you.